So the word defibrillator for today, where we are trusting God for a word from within the word. Now I've got to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you this with a heart towards you. And I know this might be a bit harsh for you, and many of us have heard this before. And it's a message to me too. I want you to grow up. I think it's about time that you grow up. I'm tired of you living in the space that you're living in. So just grow up, okay? Now, in the Bible, to verify this and what I'm saying, there is a scripture, Ephesians 4, in the Amplified, and we're going to start off at verse 10. He who descended is the very same as he who also ascended, high above the heavens, all the heavens, that his presence might fill all things, the whole universe from the lowest to the highest. And his gifts were varied. He himself appointed and gave men to us, some to be apostles, special messages, some prophets, inspired preachers and expounders, some evangelists, preachers of the gospel, traveling missionaries, some pastors, shepherds of his flock, and teachers. His intention was the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints, his consecrated people, that they should do the work of the ministering towards the building up of Christ's body, the church. So there we go. He gives us all these guys, gives us the prophets, the evangelists, the, the pastors. And the reason why he added those to our lives is the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints. That's you and I, his consecrated people, that we should do the work of ministering towards building up Christ's body, the church. Now, verse 13, that it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith and the comprehension of the full and accurate knowledge of the Son of God. So those guys are there to teach us and connect us with Jesus Christ himself and help us have a deeper relationship that we might arrive at really mature manhood, the completeness of personality, which is nothing less than the standard height of Christ's own perfection the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ and the completeness found in him. So this is why we, we, we're going to grow to the fullness of Christ. We're going to be as tall as he is. We're going to be measured equal to him. Our, our personalities, that, that smile, that laugh, that those different emotions that we go through, our personality. Verse 14. So then we may no longer be children, tossed like ships to and fro between Chance gusts of teaching and wavering of every changing wind of doctrine, the prey of the cunning and cleverness of unscrupulous men, gamblers engaged in every shifting form of trickery in inventing errors to mislead. Ha! Huh. Rather, let our lives, verse 15, lovingly express the truth in all things, speaking truly, dealing truly, living truly. Enfolding in love, let us grow up in every way and in all things into him who is the head, even Christ the Messiah, the anointed one. Grow up, people. Well, I'm not saying it in the term of you know a bunch of kids, you need to grow up. You see, God has a calling. If you lift up your left hand in line with your left shoulder, and then you hold your right hand and hold it above your head in line with your right shoulder. Then take your left hand and put it underneath your right hand. You see, if you carry on where you are, you're growing up into nothing. Ah, just a normal life. But if you take your left hand and you move it underneath your right hand, I want you to grow up. I want us to grow up into that what God has called us to. You have a personality that sets you apart. Now, people can maybe copy what you do, but they can't do it as you. And we are here to walk in the fullness of Christ to add value to the world around us. And you have a calling upon your life, and I want you to grow up into that calling. I want you to set aside unforgiveness and, and all the anger and all the resentment and the fear of rejection and, and scared that people are going to catch you out and you're not as good as what they say you are or what you think you are. I want you to walk away from all of that. I don't want you to be tossed like a ship to and fro between chances of gusts and teaching and wavering and every changing wind of doctrine. Doctrine, No. I want you to attain oneness in the faith. 
and have the complete comprehension of the full and accurate knowledge of the Son of God. That's what I want for you. And you've got to grow up into that. It even says there, to the, to the heart of Christ, I mean, you've got to grow up into that. Stay a child in your heart and the way that you see things. Be as a little child. Do not forsake the children to come unto me. That's what Jesus is saying, and you're still his child, so stay a child of the Father, but grow into, into that. Grow up into that, what he has called you to. So I think it's time for you and I to grow up. What do you think? Heavenly Father, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for how exciting it is that I prayed this morning and, and I asked Holy Spirit lead us into that what the Father has for us today. And here we are. There's this calling that, that kind of hovers above us, just a little bit off to the right. And Father, may we step to the right and grow up into that that you have called us to, your fullness. I thank you for your mercy, I thank you for your grace, I thank you for your forgiveness, I thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. To God our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And Father, symbolically we give our lives to you and saying, Yeah, Lord, is this you? This is our plans. This is our thoughts. Is this you? And if it is you, what is it you have us do? Tell us what we need to do with our lives in order to grow up into that that you have called us to. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.